Uh, thank you very much, uh, Bernie and, and Ed and, and team. Uh, let's pull back the curtain on the Republican strategy to make the rich richer and the powerful more powerful. They say this is about controlling the deficit, but let's look at the history. We had a 100 percent support in the Senate for the Deficit Control Act, the Budget Control and Impoundment Act of 1974. 22 years it was there with support for controlling deficits, and Republicans used the nuclear option to blow that up and say instead they could use it to, in that filibuster-free pathway, to increase deficits through massive tax cuts for the rich and powerful. The Republicans blew it up. The Republicans proceeded not just to blow up that process, but pass those tax cuts under Bush and under Trump, and those are the major causes of the national deficit. The wars in Afghanistan and in Iraq added to that with Republican support. So here we are with their strategy to say, first, we run up the deficit, and then we use the deficit to say we need to cut programs for ordinary Americans. Not to have fair taxation for the rich and powerful, no, to cut the programs for ordinary Americans that my colleagues have outlined uh, so well. So this is a hostage taking, and it is unacceptable to have the president in a position where Kevin McCarthy says you either savage programs for ordinary Americans and flood the country with fossil fuels or I'm going to run the economy off the cliff. And when it runs off the cliff, that could be 8 million jobs, a crust, drop of the stock market, an increase in interest rates. The president has a mechanism to push back. He has the 14th Amendment. Bill Clinton said he would use the 14th Amendment. Constitutional scholars have said that this is there as a powerful tool for the president. It is unacceptable to have a situation in which the American people are threatened in this process. And not only that, but this strategy will be used by Republicans time and time and time again to attack programs for ordinary families and ask at the same time for even more tax cuts for the rich and powerful. So Mr. President, we have your back. We know that this pathway has not been traveled before, and every president hesitates to go down a new pathway that has to be worked out. We have your back. We stand with you against this type of unacceptable hostage taking. Thank you.